Throughout TV history, there has been a slew of groundbreaking psychological horror shows that have given audiences a roller coaster ride into unsettling insanity. However, among these shows are a handful that truly pushed the envelope and delivered something best described as seriously messed up. So, with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 seriously messed up psychological horror TV shows. Number 10 Channel Zero the internet is a truly terrifying place. You only need one visit to Twitter to see that for yourself. However, one element of internet horror that is somewhat beautiful is that of the creepy pasta. While many of these online urban legends are enough to make you wet the bed, there is something to respect about these stories finding life on a unique platform. Channel Zero only goes and gives that platform a little boost. This sci-fi show is an anthology series that explores a different story each season. These stories are all adaptations of famous internet tales, including Candle Cove, No End House, Butcher's Block, and The Dream Door. Each one is a haunting example of the intense creativity that the internet can breed. Each season banks on specific fears to unsettle you, with the first season taking a look at nostalgia and childhood fears. This unique approach delves right under your skin as it's grounded in something incredibly relatable. As with all anthology shows, each season boasts an entirely fresh experience with scary storytelling and imagery facing you at every corner. Number 9. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared the trick of this show is that, upon first glance, you wouldn't even associate the word horror with it. In fact, you'll only get the creeps from the surface if you're terrified by the Teletubbies or the Tweenies. But once you dig a little deeper, you'll end up being greeted by one of the weirdest, freakiest, and most unique horror shows of the past decade. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared started life as a YouTube web series and gained massive notoriety. It did well enough that all four commissioned it for an extended series, which is where this show steps in. The program follows three friends, Red Guy, Yellow Guy and Duck, as they are taught random lessons designed for young audiences. However, things often get unexpectedly disturbing as their lives tumble out of control. Its cutesy imagery is used as a backdrop for some horrifying gore and creepy characters, leading to a smorgasbord of hilarity and terror. One second you'll be giggling at the stupidity of the leads, the next you'll be cowering behind your pillow. It makes the whole experience incredibly unpredictable and all the more frightening. Number 8. Les Revenants If you ask people what the best foreign language horror TV show is, many of them will point to the infamous Les Revenants and proclaim it as the king of that mountain. It's hard to argue with them, as this show is a poignant and creepy exploration of the deepest human fear, our relationship with death. Les Revenants, which translates as The Returned, takes place in a small French town as a group of dead citizens suddenly return to life. However, unlike your typical zombie affair, these returners seem fairly normal and want to resume their old lives. Naturally, this sudden grave exodus comes with unsettling side effects. There is a slow burn tension to this series that will keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time. While it's not going to leave your pulse pounding, it will leave your mind racing as the unsettling atmosphere makes you feel cold and confused. Despite the melancholic tones, the show is truly messed up as it taps right into your head and plants the seeds of terror without you even noticing. Number 7. Tabula Rasa when was the last time you watched a Flemish language psychological horror TV show? Never? A long time ago? Well, whatever the answer, there is a solution to this, and that's to go and check out this mesmerizing and utterly disturbing psychological thriller. Tabula Rasa follows a young woman who has awoken in a psychiatric hospital with no memory of who she is or why she's there. She's then forced to play a part in a disappearance case, attempting to remember her past in order to prove her innocence. Naturally, this cerebral focus on memories and psychosis leaves the show feeling painfully clinical. The creepy and cold setting of the hospital further accents this. Still, even outside that location, there is an uncomfortable disconnect between reality and sanity. As the show progresses, you'll be treated to some wonderfully surreal imagery that happens to be both visually stunning and deeply unsettling simultaneously. Still, everything that happens reflects struggle and inner turmoil, making the whole show feel like a deep dive into trauma and mental health. Number 6. Paranoia Agent that's right, it is time to take a little delve into the wild and wacky world of anime with one of the medium's most bizarre, unsettling and messed up shows. Paranoia Agent comes from the mind of Satoshi Kon, the genius creator behind movies like Perfect Blue, Paprika, Millennium Actress and more. While each of these films delivers psychological terror in their own rights, it's Paranoia Agent that feels like the most chaotic dive into his signature brand of mind-melding thrills. 
The series takes place all across Tokyo as random citizens are chased down and beaten over the head with a golden baseball bat. The perpetrator of these crimes is a strange young boy on rollerblades nicknamed Lil Slugger. Part of what makes this show so disturbing is the impact this character has on the citizens. People's lives devolve into chaos as paranoia, big shock there, overtakes them, and their mental fortitude is put to the test. Everything becomes less and less sensical as the series progresses, with the final episodes feeling like a bizarre and freaky fever dream. It's it's a classic anime experience that every horror fan should witness. Number 5. Save Me One of the most frightening things that can happen to a person is getting sucked into a cult by a vile yet charismatic figure preying on the weak. But while that in itself is terrifying, the thought of watching your entire family go through that whilst being unwillingly dragged along with it is enough to break a person. That is where this Korean thriller gets its terrifying power. Save Me follows the exploits of four boys as they attempt to rescue a former classmate of theirs after her family has become entirely indoctrinated into a terrifying and secretive religious cult. However, as they try to expose this cult's devilish actions, they learn it's only the tip of the iceberg. This show does not pull its punches, with murder, violence, and some very heinous crimes on full display. Still, the thing that makes it truly messed up is how real everything feels. The horror of the show comes from how believable the cult's crimes are and how shockingly human the villains feel. This weaved with the rescue plot makes for some haunting TV viewing. Number 4. Hannibal On paper, Hannibal had no right to be as good as it was. The legendary name of Hannibal Lecter was synonymous with cinema and even led beloved actor Anthony Hopkins to Oscar gold. Yet despite this, many would argue that this TV show not only lives up to the character's legacy but actually acts as the greatest depiction of the vile villain. Now that is something. The series follows a criminal profiler called Will Graham as he uses his excessive empathy skills to track down killers. He's advised to work with the famed psychiatrist Hannibal Lecter, a secret serial killing cannibal. You follow as their relationship develops and Hannibal's twisted ways becomes more and more dangerous. While this show has accolade upon accolade thrown at it, there's one thing you must not mistake, and that's how messed up it gets. The act of cannibalism is naturally disturbing as hell, but some of the things you'll see in this show will stick with you for years. Blood Eagle, anyone? Alongside this, the deep delve into homicidal crime and its impact on the protagonist's psyche will leave you in fits of tension and discomfort. Number 3. Yellow Jackets Ask yourself this question. What would you do if you and your classmates were stranded in the wilderness? Would you stay strong and survive through resourcefulness and teamwork, or would you tumble down a rabbit hole of horror and savagery? Naturally, you'd like to believe you could make it work, but the truth is not everyone can be Bear Grylls. Even the bravest, strongest, most resilient people would struggle, and that terror is what Yellow Jackets explores. Yellow Jackets follows a talented girls' soccer team as they are stranded in the deep wilderness of Ontario after surviving a plane crash. There, you follow as their lives turn into chaos and they form warring clans. Alongside this, you also flash forward to their lives decades after the crash. This series truly puts you through the ringer as it explores some ferociously dark themes and all with a realistic guise that makes it uncomfortably familiar. Seeing all this horrid stuff happen to young people and the devastating emotional scars it has left on them is enough to make even the stoutest heart bleed just a little. Number 2. Inside Number 9 so here is a question that most people could easily answer. Is the show you're currently watching a comedy or a horror? You can usually tell at a glance, but that question is likely to send Inside Number 9 fans reeling as the lines are just so expertly blurred. This anthology series from the brilliant minds of Reese Shearsmith and Steve Pemberton is a twisted and maniacal series that drops some of the most creative episodes of TV you'll ever find right into your lap. Each episode is an entirely new story that usually features dark humour, terrifying psychological implications and plot twists galore. Some of the show's most frightening and intense episodes include Wise Owl, the story of an abused young man trying to reconnect with his childhood hero. Another is The Harrowing, which follows a young girl's visit to a gothic mansion. Finally is To Have and To Hold, which features one of the vilest plot twists of the whole series. These episodes are only the tip of the iceberg, as this expert psychological horror slash comedy has plenty of episodes that will give you sleepless nights. Number 1. The Kingdom Lars von Trier is a name that will either send you packing into the cinema or running for the hills, and no one would judge you for either of those choices. This horror auteur has created some of the genre's most messed up stories, including horrifying movies like Antichrist, Nymphomaniac, and The House That Jack Built. Still, one of his first big hits was the utterly unnerving series The Kingdom. The Kingdom follows a host of disturbing events in a Danish hospital that has fallen victim to strange supernatural occurrences. The staff and patients attempt to figure out what in the hell is going 
going on as the series becomes more and more surreal and abstract. Tria has mentioned Twin Peaks as one of the inspirations for this series, and that shows. There's a visceral vibe to the storytelling that focuses on feelings and emotions over logic and plot. You'll find yourself deeply challenged by the ideas and imagery, but this leads to an incredibly rewarding, if utterly disturbing, viewing experience. It's certainly not an easy watch, but it's a must if you love psychological horror. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there, and I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Little child. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.